these startling discoveries taught us a lot about our forefathers. This list will focus on the most amazing and significant archaeological discoveries in human history. Among the sites on our list are Gobekli Teep, Tu, Sutton Hu, Pompeii, the Rosetta Stone, and others. The Top 10 Archaeological Discoveries of All Time Welcome to the topics, and today we're counting down our Top 10 Archaeological Discoveries of All Time. This list will focus on the most amazing and significant archaeological discoveries in human history. Have you ever been to any of these places? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Ten. The Serapium of Alexandria French Egyptologist Auguste Mariette discovered the Serapium at Accra in 1850. In 1851, he found 64 APIs bulls and thousands of inscribed objects in the subterranean chambers. The 1980s saw excavation of a second Serapium area. Alexandria, the new Ptolemaic capital, had another important Serapium. Ptolemy Isota, 305-284 BC chose Serapis as Egypt's official god and ordered his architect Parmeniscus to build one of the god's most famous temples. The patriarch Theophilus and his followers destroyed the Serapium in AD 391, ending Greek worship of Serapis. Romans built more Serapiums. Serapium or Serapion, either of two ancient Egyptian temples dedicated to the Greco-Egyptian god Serapis, Serapis. The elaborate temple of that name was originally a monument to Partha's sacred API's bulls on the west bank of the Nile near Accra. Ramses II, 1279-13 BC, designed a main gallery and subsidiary chambers to serve as a catacomb for the deceased API's bulls, who became Osiris API's after death. The Greeks of Kukra worshipped this god as Osirapis, which became Serapis under the Ptolemaic dynasty and was renamed the Serapium. 9. Sutton Hu in 1939, one of Europe's most remarkable medieval graves was discovered in England. Edith Pretty, the owner of a Suffolk estate, enlisted the help of archaeologists to discover what lay beneath the burial mounds on her property. What they discovered was incredible, so much so that the story inspired a 2021 film called The Dig. The most promising mound held an entire longship and numerous artifacts, including gold armor and other Anglo-Saxon relics. Despite being one of the most impressive archaeological discoveries in the UK, it is still unclear whose grave it is. Most evidence suggests it was the final resting place of Raedwald, an East Anglian king who ruled the region around 1,400 years ago. 8. Tutankhamun's Tomb The Valley of the Kings is the final resting place of many ancient Egyptian pharaohs, but a number of tombs have been looted by grave robbers throughout its history. Tutankhamun's tomb was unique in that, despite grave robbers breaking into it shortly after it was sealed, most of its contents were still intact when archaeologists discovered it in 1922. Tutankhamun's gilded mask has made him arguably the most famous and recognizable pharaoh in history. Tutankhamun reigned for about 10 years and died between the ages of 18 and 19, so he left quite a legacy. Along with the mask, the tomb also contained a statue of Anubis, the god of the dead, and a dagger fashioned from a fallen meteor. 7. Knossos, Knossos, which can be found on the island of Crete in Greece, is widely considered to be the oldest city in all of Europe. And that's saying something. Knossos was the primary capital of the ancient Minoan civilization, which existed not only on Crete but also on other Aegean islands. It was home to a massive palace complex that gained renown all over the world. Knossos is believed to have been inhabited at some point prior to the Neolithic period, during which time the civilization flourished from approximately 3500 BCE to 1100 BCE. In the year 1878, an amateur archaeologist by the name of Minos Kalakirinos discovered the location of Knossos. Sir Arthur Evans was the one who actually excavated the ancient site throughout the majority of the early 1900s. 6. Tychel Guatemala's Maya metropolis Tychel thrived between 600 BC and AD 900. Little hamlets formed a Maya city-state with over 20 pyramids. Contemporary Maya waterhole is Tychel. Penn Museum curator Robert Scherer claimed in 
the ancient Maya, 6th edition, that Mutal was a major Maya capital, Stanford University Press, 2005. Tycle National Park Surround Central America's Largest Archaeological Site Tycal, an illustrated history of the old Mayan capital, opens in New Tab, by John Montgomery states that the city covered at least 50 square miles, 130 square kilometers, during its peak from AD 682 to 909. 2001, Hippocrene Books Penn State anthropology professor emeritus David Webster estimated 45,000 to 62,000 Tycal residents at its heyday in The Population of Tycal, Implications for Maya Demography, Archeo Press, 2018. Big City In response to droughts, the city's citizens developed a complex water management system, according to a 2012 Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences report. Dams, reservoirs, and sand filters purified water. Its 10th century demolition ended the city's 1,000 year use. 5. Gobekli Teep Although this site was discovered in 1963, its significance was not understood until decades later. Klaus Schmidt, a German archaeologist, determined in the mid 1990s that the stone slabs in the area were the tops of prehistoric megaliths and began excavating. He discovered a location of gigantic circular structures on stone pillars going back to the Neolithic period. The megaliths at Gobekli Tepe are the oldest in the world, dating back to 9500 BCE. Nobody knows what the place was used for, but the carved reliefs reveal primordial religious practices. What we do know is that Gobekli Tepe is one of the world's oldest human settlements, representing the transition from nomadic to settled life. 4. Dead Sea Scrolls The Dead Sea Scrolls, largely written in Hebrew, among the oldest Abrahamic holy documents still in existence. They were discovered in a cave on the West Bank in the mid-1940s, but in the decades afterwards, we've unearthed more and more scrolls ready for translation in a number of other caves. The scrolls are noteworthy because they have helped historians and theologians to more properly chronicle the creation of the Bible and have offered new information about the origin of Christianity thousands of years ago, as well as the history of Judaism and the Holy Land. They are incalculably significant and still have much to teach us. 3. Petra Nabataeans, an Arab Bedouin clan from southwestern Jordan, founded Petra as a trading station. In 312 BC, the Greek Empire attacked Petra because the Nabataeans living and trading there had become wealthy. History's first mention of Petra. The city's mountainous geography helped the Nabataeans defeat the Greeks. The mountains protected Petra. The city was attacked again after the Greek expedition. In 106 AD, the Romans invaded Petra and defeated the Nabataeans. The Roman Empire renamed Arabia Petria. They ruled the city for over 250 years until an earthquake in the middle of the 4th century AD destroyed much of its buildings. Byzantines ruled Petra for 300 years. 2. Cave of Altamira If you're interested in early mankind, the Cave of Altamira is a must-see. Many noteworthy caves related to ancient mankind have been discovered by archaeology, notably Lascaux and another in the small Spanish town of Ardales. Yet nothing compares to Altamira. This cave, also in Spain, contains several prehistoric drawings and paintings, the majority of which feature local animals. The suggestion that the paintings were ancient was regarded with some suspicion after the site was found in 1868, not only because of the nature of the images, but also because no other prehistoric cave art was known to exist in Europe. But the study eventually won out, and the paintings are now thought to be roughly 36,000 years old. 1. The Terracotta Army This is one of the most important archaeological discovery of all time, and it was discovered entirely by chance. A group of farmers discovered the Terracotta Army in the Shaanxi region of western China in the 1970s. The army is housed within an exquisite mausoleum built over 2,200 years ago as the final resting place of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. Almost 8,000 clay warriors guard Emperor Qin in the afterlife, according to the sections we've been able to uncover. 
But what's more astounding is that the entire necropolis is estimated to be about 40 square miles in size, with the majority of the site hidden in vaults that aren't yet accessible.